Cheers everyone, welcome to another beer review and in this one we're off to Czechoslovakia and we have got a Czech Pilsner funny enough and we're off to a Vino Rasky Pivovar and we got a number 12 Czech Pilsner from them. Super smashing great, clocking in at 4.8% ABV, there you go, there's a uh, Information, this was picked up at the Tremlin Madness in York for £3.30. £3.30, it says, boom, 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 it says, Czech Pilsner, Czech Premium Pale Lager, ingredients, water, yeast, and it's got the Saz hops, and we got Sladek hops. It was canned on the 8th of September, and it was produced by Frino Radsky Pivovar, Karuni Praha um, and Prague. I think it's in Prague. That Praha is Prague, isn't it? I'm not too sure. Um, I knew they were in Prague. I think they still are in Prague. Let me know in the comments. Let's crack this open. Before I even dig myself a bigger hole with useless comments. So just get rid of that. Yes, it's very malty. And dare I say, it was a little bit skunky when I first sniffed it. It wasn't a very nice smell. It smells like a baboon's arsehole. Let's pour it out. I hope I haven't wasted money. Um, it didn't smell very good from the can, I'll be honest. It smelled like a baboon's arsehole. And not that I have smelled a baboon's arsehole. I'm just saying it smells... Um, what I'd imagine a baboon's arsehole would smell like. Not very nice. <sighs> Not very nice. So, stick it there. Be in a glass, as you can see, there's a slight haziness to it. Um, a medium flow of carbonation, going up to about one finger's mm -hmm. worth of dusting of white head to it. So, I'm going to go in. So, no, I'm going to smell it first, see if it smells better. Yeah, malty, but not much else to it. So I'm going to go in. Cheers. It tastes a lot, lot better than it smells. Um, I'm a big fan of the Pilsner style. It's it's always been a style of beer which has always been very clean. Um, around the mouth, you know, very much you know, a bitterness there. You're getting a Pilsner and a, a nice, malty, clean finish. To it this has got a little bit more to it than the average peels nut for me um it's very bready very yeasty for peels nut it tastes really really good it does it tastes really really good um i wouldn't say it's got a clean feel on the tail end. I, I don't think it's a, a beer which um, gives you that clean, bitter, crisp feel on the tail end. But this, more than makes up for it in the flavour. It does feel like fresh bread, in a way, fresh loaf of white bread a nice gentle note of bitterness throughout and i think the taste notes offers so much more drinkability to this beer i think this beer i, would, I could definitely drink more of and enjoy it is a very very good beer it is very very nice um I 
I was expecting this to be sweet in a way, but the more I'm, I'm drinking it, you're getting a little sweet note on the front end, but the bitterness becomes more prevalent the more you drink it. It's more, it's getting louder the more you drink it, if you know what I mean. Um, So, it does feel different to your normal run-of-the-mill run Pilsner, definitely. And it is very, very nice. It's, it, just, it is. It's a really nice beer. Um, the smell of it, when I first, when I first, had, you know, smelt it, it smelled awful. But, now... I can't pick up that, that awful smell at all. I don't know if it was something in the can or something which wasn't... See, the smell isn't there. Um, this brewery, I um, don't know much about it. I know, I think they had the tap room and the brewery and the tap room was in Prague. Um, I'll just check. I don't think... No, I think I've lost it. Um, overall, though, I have to say, highly, highly recommend that. That is a really, really nice beer. Definitely worth checking out, that one. So thank you very much for watching this one. And I'll see all of you on my next one. So cheers.